Um, so thank you all for all of that. Um, I'm not going to be on here very long because I have to get up early in the morning because I have to work. <laughs> well, I don't have to. The great, wonderful thing about it is I have an amazing, wonderful man who provides for me financially, emotionally, mentally. And I just appreciate you, honey. Thank you. You're welcome. But you know what? You do have to work because there's no way. I mean, you, I mean, you still go. I have to. I don't have to. I want yeah, to. Yeah, but your, your insides make you do it. Like, you're, you're not going to sit there and just get your nails done, get massages all day. That That's not fucking happening. Not the Tawanda that oh, I Oh, no. you going to oh, find. No, you that's why I said I want to. Like, I want to. There's a lot of people who have to do certain things in their lives. Like, they have to take their medicine. Like, if they don't take their medicine, you know, if they don't take their medicine, then something may, else may happen. But for me, I want to do these things. That's what I'm saying. It's not that I have to, which is well, amazing. Well, you do want to, but you have to as a person. You're just not that woman. I don't care how much money I got. You're not going to sit at the house and do nothing and go shopping all day no, like some I, motherfuckers I'm I not a shopping girl like that though anyway. yeah but I'm, I'm saying I'm saying you don't have to as in like you must go to work I'm saying your inner character and your moral compass and who you are will never let you sit anywhere and just do nothing all goddamn that's, day that's not happening that's, that's, well, that's the truth that's the truth please am I the only one that is struggling to understand what I just watched, you know, you know, when you watch a video and you're like, what did I just watch? Because I don't understand how these grown people or how this grown man cannot comprehend that his woman is trying to compliment him. I guess he's a type that don't lie on my name. Don't be telling people what I'm not. Don't try to package me in a way that I'm not so uh, you won't lie on my name <laughs> because someone is even trying to you know compliment you in as much as you are not even that she's trying to you know sell you out in a good way and the man is saying no 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 you're not gonna do that on my name in fact there's a, another video i want you guys to watch you know where he's saying no oh, i didn't want to get married it's beginning to look as if the woman is forcing him you know to be in the relationship or is there's a reason he's in a relationship because of what he's getting from it Maybe because she's from a popular family, you know, his name being attached to her, it's going to blow him up somewhere or something. In fact, let me allow you guys to watch that video. <laughs> I won't be the only one that will see that alone. We reconnected. Yeah. Um, we, you know, I was in a place where I was kind of like, I don't want to get married. She was like, it's cool. Like, yeah. you were just like, let's just be happy. Mm -hmm, That's yeah. always been the focus of who we are with each other. Be happy, support each other. Be happy, be happy, be happy. So... So as time progressed, you know, and she she never like came to me like, man, so what you doing? What you doing? You know, it's yeah. it, mm -hmm. she never. And it made me want to do it more. I had no idea that he was going to propose because we never talked about it. We never talked about how we were going to get married. I mean, we talked about it way back in the day. Like he said, OK, I, I don't know if I want to get married again. I'm like, OK, that's fine. We're happy. We're in a great space. So. I love getting my nails done. Mm -hmm. So that particular weekend, I didn't get my nails done. Oh, I know. I know you were like, you doing what? Right now. I did not. That's how he knew that I did not know that he was going to propose. So how? Well, you know, like the people of TikTok do say, I just hope it's not a shut up ring. You guys get because the way the man, everything about him is mannerism is given like, Somebody that doesn't want to get married and all. Somebody that, you know, when you force a horse to go to a stream and you're still forcing the horse to take water. Well, some ladies have got something to say as regards that video. Let me allow you guys, you know, take a listen. What well, going with um, Tawanda's husband? Is that her husband or is that her fiance? What well, going with that man? What's going on? Watch this clip. Um, so thank you all for all of that. Um, I'm not going to be on here very long because I have to get up early in the morning because I have to work. <laughs> well, I don't have to. The great, wonderful thing about it is I have an amazing, wonderful man who provides for me financially, emotionally, mentally. And I just appreciate you, honey. Thank you. You're welcome. But you know what? You do have to work because there's no way. I mean, you... 
I mean, you still going to want to. I have to. I don't have to. I want yeah, to. Yeah, but your, your insides make you do it. Like, you're, you're not going to sit there and just get your nails done, get massages all day. That That's not fucking happening. Not the Tawanda that oh, I Oh, no. You going to oh, find. No, you that's why I said saying? I want to. Like, I want to. But for me, I want to do these things. That's what I'm saying. It's not that I have to, which is well, amazing. You do want to, but you have to as a person. You just not that woman. I don't care how much money I got. You're not gonna sit at the house and do nothing and go shopping all day. No, like some I, motherfuckers I'm not a shopping girl like that though. Yeah, I'm, but I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying you don't have to, as in like you must go to work. I'm saying your inner character and your moral compass and who you are will never let you sit anywhere and just do nothing all goddamn day. Best. Wonder and her husband or fiance or boyfriend of many years, whatever, right? Apparently they always do these lives where they're talking about whatever they're talking about relationships, giving relationship advice. <sighs> these people that always wanna <laughs> always wanna tell us how wonderful their relationships are, yeah. And then they go on live or they do a podcast and then we realise, yeah, your relationship is so effed up, you should have kept it quiet. So to one is there talking about, oh, I don't have to work. I have a wonderful, marvelous, generous man who pays for everything. And what does that man do? He tries to humble her. Why? Because he resents the fact that he has to pay for everything. Because in that moment, you as a man, when your woman is praising you for being such a provider, why would you not be, be a princess, honey? Go get your nails done. Go get your hair done. I love it when my when my lady is just enjoying her life and you know what I mean. She said, "He said, yeah, but you don't you 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 don't, you don't you don't just stay at home because I wouldn't be with somebody who just does her nails and her hair every day because I <laughs> what <laughs> what? <laughs> Let me tell you something, yeah. Tawanda's lying. That's what I believe. Tawanda, you're lying." Because no woman who doesn't have to work in the morning, who doesn't have to work for money, is waking up early in the morning to go work. Why would I wake up at 5 a.m. to go to a job I don't even need to be at? Does that make sense to you? Because if I don't need to be here, then I don't need to be here at 5 a.m. or 7 a.m. I'll show up at midday because I'm going to get my, my good 12 hours of sleep, not just 8, 12. Mm? And I'm going to wake up slowly. I'm going to have breakfast. I'm going to do my little Pilates in the morning. Then I'm going to come home, shower, um, have a midday snack. And then I'm going to drive to work and then start my day at work. Who goes to work early in the morning at a job they don't have to be at? Who are you trying to lie to? And see how that man flipped the table? See how that man wanted to put her in her place? Even though she was praising him, she cl he clowned her. These are the telltale signs that your husband hates your guts. <laughs> be, how can you be praising a man and he's like, well, you know, I, I wouldn't be with a woman who just sits at home and gets massages and goes to the spa and gets her nails done. Why would you care if you're a provider? If her money doesn't mean anything, why would you even care? Why would you care if she's getting her nails done? <laughs> Every week. She's going to the spa, going shopping. And then he put her in a defensive. She had to like defend herself and be like, "No, I'm not. I'm not the shopping kind of girl. I'm not." Now she has to act like she's so simple. She's not materialistic. She's not that kind of girl. You see that? Those are the telltale signs that the man you are with hates your guts. When you're being a princess and he resents it. When you're being girly and you get to have all this time of leisure, he hates it. And let me tell you something, the people that always have to prove how wonderful their relationship is, it's never wonderful. She's sitting there praising that man, and that man just let everybody know, this relationship is effed up. Completely and utterly effed up. And this is the same story you keep hearing with the Braxton girls. Trina acted like her relationship was good with Gabe, it wasn't. Tracy acted like her relationship was good with her husband. Now she's passed away. We're finding out it wasn't. That's why she left everything to her to her son. Come to find out her husband was cheating on her. <laughs> That's why she didn't leave him nothing. Okay? That's why she didn't leave him, she left him nothing. Uh uh Tamar used to act like, yeah, Vince is a different type of man. We know. We know. 
is why I said, stop pedestalizing these men. Stop worshipping these men. Because the minute you start saying, my, my man, my man, and I don't talk about my man, my husband, my husband, my man, I have a good man who I don't have to go to work. That man turns around and embarrasses you. Didn't I say that? The minute you do that, before the sun sets, that man embarrasses you. <laughs> before the sun sets, that man embarrasses you. And this is exactly what Ta um, Tawanda's husband or future husband did to her. Now she looks like a clown. <laughs> your man hates you. He hates your guts. And he would never want you to be no passenger princess. Because he wants you to go out there and work. And make some money. Because he didn't just get with a Braxton. So he could spoil her. He got with a Braxton. So she could spoil him. <laughs> okay. The reason why she has to wake up so early in the morning. Is because she needs to go make that money to help him pay the bills. Nobody is waking up at the crack of dawn. To go do a job they don't have to be at. Be for real. Recently, I made a video about this man on one of those balloon pop dating shows who said he wanted a hard working woman and he was surprised to see all these women who popped their balloon. That was an instant deal breaker for a lot of women. Some women know that's code for you want a mule. Some men who want a hard working woman want a woman who pays 50% of the bills and does 100% of the labor. And I want you to see for yourself what it sounds like and what it looks like being a hard working woman in a relationship. I have a amazing wonderful man who provides for me financially emotionally mentally and i just appreciate you honey thank you you're welcome but you know what you do have to work because there's no way i mean i don't have to i want yeah but your, your insides make you do it like you you're not gonna sit there and just get your nails done get massages all day that that's not happening not the tawanda that oh, i know i don't care how much money i got you're not gonna sit at the house and do nothing and go shopping all day. No. You see how quickly he got offended by the idea that anybody would even mistake him for a provider? He's like, oh, no, no, you wouldn't be up here not working. See, and that works for some women, but they want it to work for all women. And it doesn't. A relationship isn't one size fits all. His attitude about being with a woman who works as hard as he does does not work for every woman. There are some women who don't mind their partner making a mule out of them. They think that's what being a good woman looks like. But there are also some women who say, I don't have to be exhausted and broke while I'm giving you all my money to prove to you that I'm a good woman. But seriously, guys, I need you guys to chip in on this one. I'm curious to you know, know what your thoughts are after watching that video. Some people are saying that the man does not like her. But I don't know. You know, one thing about relationship is, <laughs> um, you know, when we are not the one wearing the shoe, we don't know the dynamics of that relationship. In as much as we saw, you know, a glimpse of what it, what it is. <laughs> I'm not the one wearing the shoe, so I cannot be complaining. It is their love. So it's their bed. Anyhow they make it, they will lie on it. So do you think the man does not like her or she's trying to force herself on the man? Maybe the man is the love of her own life. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye, guys.